that I didn't stamp you for this. But the first thing I want to do is actually kind of go through some of these. Then I want to make sure that we have we're clearing up any questions on the conditional, the marginal, and then independent. Okay, so here we go. First of all, uh, this one, here's some display issues that I came up with. I said that, you know, and we haven't really talked about this, but you have to make sure that when you make a graph that you label what it is. I mean, otherwise, it's you. Okay, so it wasn't labeled. So that was an important. Um, and I think you probably figured out that the total is way more than 100%, and a pie chart has to be only 100%. Um, now, I did have that the areas are distorted because, in my mind, this little 85% piece looks as big as, you know, the same, if not smaller than this 46% behind it. Okay? Now, I think there's another one. So, because of this, you say that the area principle is being violated. Like the area principle is being violated. Okay. What else did you guys come up with? Okay. I do I do know one more somebody had told me. This is forty six percent. And this is forty six percent. Okay? So those two forty six percent amounts should technically be the same. But they're not. Okay? So here we go. Next. Percentages. I get the question. How sh should I round? Should I do decimals? Okay. So here's the call on that. Percentages aren't as crucial of a thing to have a lot of decimals on. Most of the time, you can get by with percentages um, being being just at the whole number when we're just talking percent. Later on this year, there are some things that I need two decimals, and there is even a section that I need at least four decimals on. Okay, so I will let you know on those. So it's not way crucial. I tend to do zero or one on those. Okay. Questions about the difference between part B and part C because their wording is similar. Is anybody confused on how to figure out those denominators? Anybody want me to go over that? We're all good? Okay. All right. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Now, by the way, I do want to tell you that writing out the fraction, if you just go straight to the percent, then it's kind of like showing your work. Then if you get a different percent, you won't know what numbers you used. You won't know if you just typed something in your calculator wrong or if you actually legitimately were using the wrong numbers in the fraction. Okay, so it, it helps in the learning process to put your fractions together. All right. Next. And I think I don't. It's 140 or 41. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, so. Questions on those three? Okay. The next section is where it gets tricky. Well, not really tricky. It's just there's lots of options of how you can do some things. And so I want you to get comfortable with the direction that you're supposed to go in these numbers. So here we go. And the next, first one is marginal. What is the marginal distribution of origin? So let's go back here and identify the marginal. Okay. Marginal is going to be where? Okay, the totals. So marginal. Now, if it says marginal of origin, then your values are going to be based on the origin. So the American, the total, total overall for the European, the total overall for the Asian. So for the American, it's that. 12 over 359. And for European, 45 over 359. And for Asian, 
102 over 359. Those are called the marginal of origin. Well, if I said marginal by driver, if I said marginal by driver, then that's when you would list the type of drivers like student and staff. So let's look at those numbers. Okay, student would be 359, uh-huh, and then staff 164. Okay, so that would be if they asked marginal by driver. Okay, the next question comes from conditional. Conditional means it, it's conditional upon two variables. This middle section is where your values are affected by two variables. Okay? For example, 107 uses or is a number that represents the students that are American driving cars, that are driving American cars, sorry. So student drivers driving American-made cars, 107, okay? So these, this section green is the conditional because it's they're affected by two variables. So, when we get over to here, which by the way, here are those percentages, okay? Remembering that marginal is, marginal is that overall conditionals in the middle, Okay, so here we go. Conditional of origin by driver classification. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over some wording here that has confused me since the first time I did this. And I think I'm confident in, I mean I am, because I've checked it with other people who have done the same thing, even uh, posted things online. So, here's what's going on. Here's why I was confused. Do you remember that on these other problems, when we say something like, of all of the cars, what's the denominator? All of the cars. And when I say of the American cars, then the denominator is the, all of the American cars. My confusion with this conditional, I'm just going to kind of tell it to you and then and just put it out there so that it's brought to the front and hopefully you won't end up then discovering that confusion, confusion part yourself. Conditional distribution of origin. The thing that confused me, you technically are not using origin as your denominator. See, if you were using origin as your denominator, then the numbers I would be putting it under are American, European, Nation, those would be my denominators. However, this is what this means. Okay, so by driver classification, so by driver classification, I'm going to do all of the origins. So I want you to write, fill those in if you don't have that so we can discuss them. So, the, I have been the percent of students that drive American cars. The percent of staff that drive American cars. Okay, so I'm going to let you fill that in for just a second, and then we'll talk about what you compare. This Asian one is 28.6. Okay. So the next question is ultimately 
really why we even look at these two-way tables. We want to know if two variables are related. We want to know if they are independent of each other. So let's show you mathematically what you look at. Here's what you do. Students are driving American cars at this rate. So 54.5% of the students are driving American cars. However, compare conditional, compare conditional to overall, which is the marginal. Overall, the cars in the parking lot are 59% American, and these numbers do not jive. They are not the same. So the fact that you are a student is making you less likely to be driving an American-made car. Okay? You always are comparing conditional to marginal. Never compare conditional to conditional. Do not go conditional to conditional. Compare only conditional to marginal. So when I look at this one for staff, 64% for staff, what am I going to compare that number to? Of what? Of four? Yes, okay, good. So for the American, good. So I can, what statement, what sentence could I say about this 64%? In overall, yes. Okay, here it is. Good. Here's there's many statements you can make. One of them that's correct is if you are a staff member, you are more likely to be driving American made car than overall. You could also call this expected. Okay, then expected. All right. Um, okay, let's go with that. Now, let's compare the Europeans. So here we go. Here's the European car, which is the 16.9%, and this one is 7.3%. What am I going to compare these European numbers to? <coughs> the, yes, the marginal. Thank you. Marginal up for European, which is here. Okay, good. So 16.9% is going to be compared to that. 7.3%. So, if you're a student, then you are what with this number? You are high, you are more likely than expected, higher than expected to be driving a European made car. And if you are a staff member, then you are less than expected. Okay, less likely. Okay, very good. Let's look at the last comparison the Asian made cars. So, <clears throat> here we go. This one's 28.2%. This one's 28.6%. And I'm comparing it to this 28.4. So what do you have to say about those numbers? <coughs> Technically, with decimals, uh, just being off decimals, that could have to do with because of the number in the sample. And they could just be a little off because of the rounding and the number in the sample. So therefore, <clears throat> These would be considered the same as expected. So staff have the same amount of Asian cars as expected. Students have the same amount of Asian cars as expected. So if I was asking you just about Asian cars, just about Asian cars, then I would be able to say driver height is not affecting it's not affecting the rate at which you purchase or drive an Asian car. i say that again. Type of driver, being a student or a staff, type of driver is not affecting the rate at which you are buying or driving an Asian car. Okay, still say. Okay, but the other ones are affected. So if I had to make a general statement about... <coughs> Driver and origin. So I would say driver, and you could probably put this. Uh, I I could just write this, or you could put it in your next little question there when it asks you to use this. So driver and origin. 
overall, are they affecting each other? Yes, they are. Good. Are related. Okay, so that's kind of like an introductory sentence. Now I want to give some support. And I want to use specific numbers to support. So I'm going to say this. Just pick one of them. Students are more likely to drive what? What are they more likely to drive? <clears throat> okay, good. The European cars. And support with specific numbers. 16.9% versus a 12.5% that was expected. Okay, let's make, a, let's make a statement about staff. Staff are, okay, which one say about that? Pick one. It doesn't matter. Try and pick the one that's most varied. I think they're both about 5% off, actually, so what can we say? <clears throat> okay, what do you want to say about European staff are? Less, good. Staff are less likely to drive European cars than overall. So you are always comparing conditional to overall. And all, that number, I think, was 7.3% versus 12.5%. Okay, so I will conclude with that thing that we want to know about, which is independent or not independent. So, <clears throat> I understand that when you think things are different, when these numbers are different from each other, you think they're independent, okay? And I, I get that. I get that you're struggling with that. Because like in a science class, if things are different and not having, you know, if things are different, then they're independent. And here, when the two variables are affecting each other, when they are different, here's the line of thinking I want you to think of. When the two variables are affecting each other because the numbers are different. Okay? Then they are affecting each other. So something's happening, and if something's happening, then you say that they are they are related, but independent or not independent? Not independent. They are not independent of each other. Okay? So that's your conclusion sentence. The driver and origin are, they're affecting each other, so therefore they are not independent. Something is happening. They are connected. Okay, very good. Now, I want you, we're going to take class time for you to work with your um, peers, people at your table or whatever. I want you to go through this one. I want you to do number 31, and also, I want you to do the graph on the next page. No graph. <laughs> Include this graph here that you have. Let's go on. Now, let's talk about the graph. Here's the graph. You did not have to do this, and this was not in your information, but let's look at what the graph looks like for your data on the origin and the driver. So here we go. Do you see how these are different sizes? The American is smaller in the student area than in the staff. You are more likely to be purchasing an American car if you are a staff member. Okay? And look at how the Asians are the same. Remember those jobs, it's exactly what they were expected to be. And But then also, look here, the, Euro, the European is higher for the students. Okay? So that's a picture of what's happening. So if these are different from sex, from bar to bar, then something is relating them together. All right. So I want you to take the time right now and do that complete number 31. 